hit him again and again. He eventually falls over. Fatality. Victory, Victory screech! screech! Welcome to my YouTube channel. I am Espoir Duvit, and today I want to play a game called Unknown Calling. I throw myself on the couch and sigh heavily. Fluff, I'm tired. I sit alone in my home, curled up in front of my phone. It's evening, the sun just set, and it's getting dark outside. Oh. Ooh. My phone's all jacked up. <laughs> Cute. I flip through my usual apps, liking various posts. I throw on some music while I look around. With two headphones on, I manage to block out the world around me. Silence is too noisy. I scroll through aimlessly. Mm. My phone starts to ring in my head. It changes the screen. Unknown number. I answer before the last ring. Hello? Hello. Can I speak to Sam? Who? Sam. I'm sorry, there's no one here by that name. Oh. Okay. Thank you. Mm -mm. Was that a scam call or were they collecting my voice for AI? I hung up and turned on the TV, looking for something to watch. No. No. Man, this show sucks. <laughs> I just don't feel like anything. I sigh heavily to myself again. Ah. My phone rings again. Hey, I want to watch what that, what's going on over there. Quickly, I answered it. Hello? Hi. Hi. Sam? She still doesn't live here. Oh. I called the wrong number again, huh? Yeah. Mm. I'm sorry about that. It's okay, we all make mistakes. I hang up the phone again, this time turning off the music. Tossing my phone to my side and settling with what's on TV. I chuckle to myself at his expense. Really? Again? Listen, dude. I pick up my phone again. Another unknown number. I answer it in a huff. Hello? Hi. I'm looking for Sam. Alright, what number are you trying to call? He lists off the number, and it's my number. Okay, well, that's the right number. <sighs> the man on the other side of the phone sighs. I guess she gave me a fake number. Ah, been there, done that. <sighs> I'm sorry to have bothered you. It's okay. He hangs up again. I sigh to myself, feeling a little bad for being irritated. Mm. Come on now, buddy. Before I can even put my phone down this time, the same number calls back. I answer in confusion, as we just cleared up the situation. Hello? Hi. Hi there. Yeah, it's me again. Mm. I just had to ask, why would someone who was hitting it off with someone else turn around and then give them a fake number afterwards? Lots of reasons. Maybe they didn't know how to let you down. Didn't want to hurt your feelings. Maybe they were afraid. Are you afraid? I was about to bravely say no, but uh, I got a little tingle. <laughs> My jimmies are slightly rustled. Huh? Um, no, I'm not afraid. Nah, what's to be frightened of? <laughs> let, me, let me just save really quickly. <laughs> exactly. I thought me and her were hitting it off. I guess wrong. Um, list more reasons? Because I don't feel like I should comfort this guy. That might... That might be a can of worms I don't want to open. Sometimes it's because they just don't find the other person all that attractive. <gasps> what? 
No, I'm plenty attractive. Lots of women find me attractive. I don't doubt that they do. You sound like a great person. I hope you find the woman you're looking for. It wouldn't happen to be you. Um, no. I freeze for a moment. Uh, everything's getting all... Everything's getting all blurry. I panicked by his comment. Lie? Decline? Flirt? Uh, n no, I don't think so. Mm, sorry, no, it's not me. I think you'll change your mind. <laughs> I can be very persuasive. No, no, keep, keep talking, friend. What do you mean by that? So, are you going to answer? Sorry, answer what? You being mine. I look around the room with my eyes for an escape. Anything just to help me leave this conversation. Here, let me give you a fake number. <laughs> no, I'm not going to be yours. I figured you'd say that. I can hear his mild disappointment in his tone. That's fine. I had a feeling you wouldn't come with me without a fight. Oh, you... You want to fight? Okay. <laughs> I'll meet you on the playground at seven. What? It's okay, Espoir. <gasps> Le Gasp! Did he just say my name? How the fluff does he know my name? I grow paranoid, walking over to my window and peeking out. Who the fluff are you? Don't talk to me like that. How dare you? I freeze. His tone is so stern. Panic takes over instead. Mm. Good. Now, listen. You're going to walk outside and meet me. What? No. Not a chance. It's cute that you think you had a choice. Come at me, Hammer. Of course I have a choice. What if I just lay, da lay down face first on the floor? Then what are you gonna do? You can't make me move. <sighs> well, it's that or I come in there to get you. Come at me, bro. You don't even know where I am. You're just some stranger. <laughs> am I, though? My spite quickly fizzles for a moment. Is he? Stay put. He sighs to himself loudly. Then I hear the phone hang up. He Hello? <gasps> you broke my window! It's gonna be cold in here! You're gonna let the bugs in! He's doing it. He's coming to get me. He's coming to get me! Shoot, what should I do? He starts to crawl through the window when my fight-or-flight reflex kicks in. And I grab the mouse because I read that there's quick time events. Fight! Get him! I look around for something to defend myself with. The save button. I see the broom laying up against the wall. Eh, 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 broom. I've got a couple of things in my house that would deter an intruder. But if I could grab that, then maybe... Uh, hi, quick tutorial here. Oh no. When you see this, you'll want to click the button. Okay. These buttons move all over the screen. Oh, you have to hit them all to win. Okay, oh that's neat. This is your timer. Click them all before timer runs out. Okay. Good luck. Oh no. Boop, 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 bop, beep, boop. Got the broom, ha <laughs> ha. I still think you could come up with something better than the broom. I lunge for the broom and grab it in my hands. Stay back! I point the end towards him defensively. <sighs> Put that down now, Espoir. No, I'm gonna smack you with it. His eyes leer at me through the mask. Get out of my home! And pay for my window! You jerk! I'm missing whatever this show is! I raise the broom, getting ready to attack him. As I quickly hit the save button, because I know I'm going to mess up. Boop, bop, beep, bop, boop, bip. <laughs> yeah! 
I smack him across the face. Ugh. Really? Did that do it? It hits him hard. He starts to stumble to his feet. Ah! Victory, Victory Screech! screech! <laughs> I hit him again. And again. He eventually falls over. Fatality. I hit him again for good measure. He doesn't seem to move. Quickly, I race over to my phone and call 911. It rings once before it's answered. Hello, this is 911. What is your emergency? A strange man's broken into my home. He's knocked out on my floor. I hit him with my broom. Where are you? I give the operator my address. Please, hurry. The operator hangs up the phone. It takes about ten minutes for the officers to arrive. It's the police. Espoir, are you in there? I run over and let them in. He's right over there. As they enter, they see the broken window, and just a ways away from it is a man lying on the floor. One of the officers pulls out a pair of cuffs and places it on the man's arms before he wakes. The other officer turns to me. What did you hit him with? I point to the broom. Is... is he alive? Yes. The officer chuckles a little at my innocent question. The other officer taps him on the face to wake him. Hey, wake up. The man stirs, waking up in confusion. <sighs> he sits up, feeling his arms cuffed behind his back. Wait, did we do it? Is this over? Did we get him? Aha! That's the f fastest I've ever gotten rid of a stalker. You're under arrest. Anything you do or say will be held against you in the court of law. The officer helps him to his feet and escorts him out of my apartment. The other officer in front of me pulls out her notepad. Got a few questions for you. Okay. He asks me when the event took place, if I knew this man before, what was talked about on the phone. He asked me for the number that called me, as well as my number for contacting later. Once he gets all of the info he needs, he leaves to join his partner. Did we... Is it over? Did we get him? <laughs> we'll be in contact. He shuts the door behind him and leaves. I look around my apartment, feeling a bit lost. I look at my window and the pieces of glass on the ground. I should clean that. I reach for the broom. The deadly broom. <laughs> my trusty broom. I laugh to myself and start to clean up. Ha <laughs> ha! Well, great ending. Great game. Wonderful ending. Absolutely superfluous game. Of course, I have to go back and try something different. Oh lordy. This one claims to have 76 thousand games on it. Damn, if that's true, I'll be playing this for my entire life. Oh my god. There really are 76,000. I guess I'll order some takeout. That's... That's a lot of endings. Uh, what if I let that run out? What happens if I let that run out? I freeze. It's too late. He's in. He stands between me and the doorway out of my apartment. <sighs> Hello, dear. He slowly walks towards me. What... what do you want? I stare at him in horror. You! <gasps> me! Not my gam-gams! Not my leggy-poos! I back away from him slowly. No! Leave me alone! I start to panic. My breathing turns into hyperventilating. I... I can't breathe. Calm down. Take a deep breath. I start to feel dizzy and stumble to my feet. Everything's turning black. I begin to collapse. Whoa, whoa, whoa there. I gotcha. Before I hit the ground, he catches me in his arms. Mm. It's okay, Espoir. I feel him drag me over to the couch. He sits by me, petting my hair. I know, it's really scary. But I'm not going to hurt you, unless I have to. Everything's going to be okay. That's not very reassuring. <sighs> Fainted? Aww. <laughs>
Uh, what if I don't grab my broom? What if I don't grab it? What if I don't get my trusty broom? He sees me eyeing the broom and begins to walk towards it, isolating it from me. Crap! This doesn't have to get violent, Espoir. You'll break my window. I'm gonna get violent. I am not a violent lass, but I will beat you to a pulp. Just come with me quietly. Uh, surrender, run, or scream? What happens if I surrender? <laughs> I look around, nervously. I can tell when I've been beat. <laughs> I wrap my arms around myself hesitantly as I lower my head. He starts to walk towards me. I don't move. Good girl. Uh. Ah, surrendered. Alright, what if I run? Can I run? I run as fast as I can to the locked door. Fluff! I feel a hand grab me by the shoulder and throw me up against the door. Mm -hmm. Ow! Where do you think you're going? Stop it! Let go of me! He pins my arms against the door roughly. <laughs> oh, what? His eyes grin at me from behind the mask. I push at him, but I can't budge from his hold. <sighs> Stop it! I freeze. His tone scares me. <clears throat> you gotta lay off the cigarettes, dude. Your voice sounds like a car that won't start. You're going to stop fighting me from this moment onwards, or this is going to get ugly real fast. I don't respond, frozen in fear. He yanks my shoulders up and shoves them back into the door to make a point. <sighs> Answer me, Espoir. Y yes I understood <sighs> We're leaving now. You're coming with me. And I expect your full cooperation. Or else. Please, I don't <sighs> Shut up. <clears throat> I don't want to hear another fluffing word from you. Shut up! Oh I sight me! You don't think I'm the kind that would keep laughing. Some people never know when to stop. When I'm told to shut up, I shut up. <clears throat> Shut up, shutting up. Mm. Oh, I would be so annoying. <laughs> he pulls me off of the door, holding onto my arm. Right. He opens the door, slamming it into the wall, and drags me out of my home. You're gonna wake up my neighbors! He quickly leads me to the back door of the apartment building. I get the sense that I may never see this place again. Oh, <gasps> ah! <laughs> I've been abducted. Okay, fine, buddy. What if I scream and do alert my neighbors? <gasps> Someone help me, please! He lunges at me, grabbing my mouth. Hey, be quiet down there. I hear footsteps pound on the floor above me. Did it work? <sighs> Fluff. He pulls me over to the couch, his hand still over my mouth. I could bite his hand. Uh, bite him or don't bite him. Uh, chomp chomp, nom nom. <laughs> I bite down on his hand as hard as I can. Uh. He pulls his hand away from my face. Uh. I hear him sigh aggressively. Dang it. Suddenly, he smacks me on top of the head. <gasps> How dare you? How dare you strike me? Uh. I fall to the floor, my vision fading in and out. Mm. I was hoping I could do this without hurting you. But not if you're going to hurt me. I'm barely able to keep myself conscious. <laughs> As I'm blacking out, I just say, You... Mad... Bro... Why you mad? <laughs> I collapse, unable to hold myself up. Well, shoot. <laughs> Quick karma. <laughs> Okay, fine. What if I don't bite him, even though I really want to? I decide against it. Best not to tick him off any more than I already have. He drags me over to the couch and tosses me onto it. <clears throat> don't try that again! I sit there, anxiously, unsure of what to do. Maybe I need to stall him so help can come. Just ask him questions, maybe. Who are you? <clears throat> You really don't know who I am, do you? <sighs> I'm wounded. Then tell me. <laughs> that would spoil the fun. Why are you doing this? Because <sighs> I love you. <clears throat> Wasn't that obvious? But... 
You ask a lot of questions. <laughs> Am I going to have to gag you? Mm. We don't have time for this right now. Why not? I have to get you home. Can't we just stay here? Of course we can't stay here. Uh, the, the window's broken. It's gonna be too drafty. I pat the couch invitingly. <laughs> nice try. Mm. We both know you don't mean that. He starts to dig something out of his pocket. But what if I did? He pauses before he pulls it out all the way. Hmm. What if you did? He thinks it over for a moment. You could come sit with me. Watch some TV. Talk. His eyes dirt around the room in contemplation. Hmm. Why the change of heart? I'm not exactly sure how to answer him. I don't want him to figure out I'm stalling. We both jump when we hear a knock on the door. Police, open up. I have to get away from him. That, whoop, whoops. Boop, boop, beep, bop. I'm not fast enough. Dang it. He grabs me and holds me in front of him like a shield. The police push the door open and approach us. Let her go. Not going to happen. Let her go now. Mm -hmm. Or what? You'll shoot us? Espoir included? The other officer chimes in. Come on, you don't want to do this. <laughs> you don't know crap about me. I start to panic and cry. You know, you've you've got some perfectly good heels, Espoir. You could probably get him up between his legs. Please, please let me go. Please. He pauses for a moment. A glimmer of pain shows in his eyes. I hear him sigh. I don't want to hurt you, Espoir. That's not what I want. Then let her go. He drags me backwards into the kitchen. The cops follow us. Stop! He does, once he reaches the window in the back. Oh no! I'm sorry about this, sweetheart. You're not gonna throw me out that window, are you? Are you? With his other hand, he lifts the window lid. Quickly, he jumps out of the window. The officers run over to me as fast as they can, but he's run off. Oh. One of them talks into their radio. We got a 4532. Someone radios back. 1045? A. 1022? C. I don't know what any of that means. Okay. One of the officers leaves the apartment. The other looks at me. We'll be in contact soon. He leaves as well. Both of them chase after the man, but were unable to find him. Dang it. Mm -mm. On the run. Mm -mm. Well, that's what happens when you break into people's into people's houses, my brother. All right, let's try that again uh, correctly this time. Boop, bop, bam. Bada boop, boop, pow. I dash towards the door and unlock it. Please, help! They come in with their guns pointed at the masked man. On the ground, now! They approach the man. Officers, there's no need. Ground, now! The other officer ushers me out of the apartment. You're under arrest. Everything you say and do will be held against you in the court of law. They cuff him and drag him out of my apartment. Oh, cool. Sweet! Ha <laughs> ha! Booked. Ah! Take that, dude! Am I afraid? Yes, I'm so scared. Oh no! Um, yes. Oh. I'm sorry. I wasn't trying to frighten you. Mm. You just seem so easy to talk to. I was hoping we could talk a bit. Do you need, like, a lozenge, brother? I pause for a moment. He's right. I am easy to talk to. I feel a sense of pride all of a sudden. It is just a phone call, after all. There really is no reason to be frightened. It's not like the dude's gonna burst through my window or anything. It's hard to be talking to a stranger, though. Especially like this. I'm sorry, but I've got to get going. Busy night and all. <sighs> Why are you lying to me? How do you know that I'm l not lying? I'm watching TV and eating snacks is very busy. I freeze in a panic. What? You're lying to me. 
<laughs> You're not busy. Hey, self-care is very, uh, being very busy. How the fluff does he know that? Um, who are you? Did I say that before? Who are you? I bite my lip, waiting for the answer. <sighs> I'm disappointed you don't remember me. Oh, I never forgot you, though. Oh, I'm flattered. I can feel the panic rising inside of me, like a wave turning my stomach inside out. Uh, sure, what you got to say? I'll listen. I should probably hang up, but, uh... We met a few times in passing. You never noticed me, but it was impossible for me not to notice you. Your beauty. Eh. Your scent. Eh? Mm. Everything about you has been etched into my mind. I couldn't help but follow you home that night. Mm. Follow me home? Continue to listen. Where are you going mm. with this? Did you know you snore in your sleep? Mm. It's really cute. What the fluff? I stare blankly into the distance. What do I do? Mm. I love watching you sleep. Testing how close I can get before you wake up. <laughs> so far, you've never stirred once. Mm. Should really look into getting a better lock on your door, love. There's lots of horrible people out there. I wouldn't want anything bad to happen to you. My door. He can get in through the door. I stare at the door with astonishment. How? Does this excite you, sweetheart? No, you're gonna see the piles of dishes that I leave in my kitchen. Mm. You're breathing faster. Mm. Or are you just anxious for me to come get you already? No, don't get me. I hear the phone hang up abruptly, but I barely believe it. Hello? Hello? No response. When I pull the phone away from my ear, I see that it's been hung up. It's over? Ah! My dude! The front door slams open. I scream in surprise. Well, at least you didn't break my window this time. Slamming doors? Who do you think you are? A man in a mask pours through the entry. I hop off the couch quickly to run away. Don't run, darling. Run into the kitchen? <laughs> I sprint as fast as I can towards the kitchen. He runs after me with only a bit of distance between us. Search for a weapon? Ha-ha! I run towards the kitchen counter and grab a knife that was lying about. I turned to him with the utensil in my hand. What you gonna do now, brother? Stay back. He lifts his hand slowly, but without caution. Sweetheart. This is very disappointing of you. Why are you fighting me? Stay back. I'll stab you. I mean it. He lets out a long sigh, but continues to slowly walk towards me. You wouldn't stab me, my beloved. Now, put down the knife. Stab him? You don't know who you're dealing with? You forget that I'm her. I lunge towards him, the knife leading the way. Bam, bop, boop, bop, pow, bop, bam. Come on now. Did I get him? Yeah. Take that, bursting down, bursting down my door. The knife connects with his stomach. Uh. What did you think was gonna happen? When I step backwards from him, I see the knife sticking out of his abdomen. Oh yeah, run. Let's do that. Oh my god! Without thinking, I race towards the door. I fling it open and run out of the apartment. I run out of the front door and down the street. I don't stop running, even though my lungs are burning. I killed someone. Well, I mean, you could call the hospital on him right now, and he might not die. I'm a murderer. Not yet. But, but it was in self-defense. Are the police going to see it that way, though? Fluff, 
What do I do? I start to tire and stop running. I've ended up in an unfamiliar street. Oh no. Did I run out of the frying run out of the frying pan and into the fire? Fluff, what do I do? I have to report it. I'll be in worse trouble if I don't. I pat around my pockets. Fluff, I don't even have my phone on me. Dang it! I don't have my wallet either. I spot a person walking by and take my chances on approaching her. Excuse me, can I use your phone? Oh, sure, here. I call the emergency number and explain the situation. The person who offered me her phone looks at me with concern. I make sure to tell the operator that this is a stranger's phone, as not to bother her in the future with regards to my call. That's very considerate. I hang up and pass the phone back. Thank you. Yeah, no problem. Sounds like you had a rough night. It's the least I can do. Yeah, it's been rough. She walks away from me after we exchange a few words. I sit and wait on the side of the road for the police to join. This is going to be a long night. Cool. Escaped. Yay! Uh, what if I don't run? What if I stay here My and look love. at what I've done? Oh. How could you? Hmm. I stare at him in bewilderment. I stabbed him. I stabbed another human being. He started it. I'm... I'm a murderer. He's... he's going to die. I mean, you could probably still save him. Just don't take the knife out. You're not supposed to take the knife out. I'd have killed him. I get lost in my own panic. Ugh. I feel intense pain in my stomach. When I look down, I see his hand clenched around the handle of the knife. Oh. Guess I should have ran. Wherever I go, you're coming with me, my love. He yanks the knife out and drops it to the ground. I can feel blood gushing out of me. I hold my hands over the wound, but it's not lessening the blood flow. Whoever he is, he lays on the kitchen floor immobile. I feel myself growing woozy, unsteady on my feet. I try to walk towards my phone, but I fall to my knees. I lay on the floor, only a foot away from him. Everything gradually becomes black. Oh, oh, dead. <laughs> Together. We are D-E-D, -D dead. Uh, what if I run into the bedroom? Do I have anything in the bedroom? Yes, I have things in the bedroom. <laughs> I run to the bedroom as quickly as possible. There's some distance between us so that I may run. When I get inside, I shut the door quickly behind me and push my body up against it. Crap! What do I do? Open the door, kitten. I'm only going to ask this once. Uh... Open the door? Well, obviously keep it closed. Is he fluffing serious? Just open the door for him? <laughs> I push against it harder, baffled by his stupidity. What do you want? I wait for a response through the door. He's not even pushing against it yet. Maybe he'll just rob me of whatever is in the living room and then leave. I hear his body lean against the door and eventually slide down to the bottom. Still no response. You. Mm hmm? Now that I've had a second, I recognize the voice as the one on the phone. Uh. Well, you can't have me, so nah. So there. I look over to the window. It doesn't open, though. There's no exit in here. What do you mean the window doesn't open? That seems like a health violation. I hear him shuffle against the door again. It sounds like he just stood up. Mm. I guess it's time I open the door. I gave you enough time to do it yourself. I grow tense. He was... waiting? Ah! Jeez, guy. I thought I was full of determination. It is you who is full of determination. Suddenly, the door pushes me backwards as he smashes against it. It opens with ease, pushing me over and swinging open. Was I not able to hold it closed regardless? 
I feel just as embarrassed as I do terrified. Well, I mean, he seems like a pretty big guy. For you. When I look up, I see him in the entryway looking down at me. Panic takes over again as I look at his masked face. S stay away from me. I shuffle away from him on the floor. He grabs my leg to prevent me from moving any further. Ah! What happens if I lose? What happens if I lose this? He yanks me towards him and straddles over top. Oh no! I just need you to be complacent. He wraps his hands around my neck and begins to squeeze. So that we can go home together. I scratch at his hands, trying to dig my fingers underneath them. But it's to no avail. Please, darling. Just go to sleep. He squeezes tighter. I feel my head swell. A dizziness takes over. Please, stop. He looks sad as he chokes me. Just sleep, and then I can let go. Sleep? Don't sleep? Uh, I have a feeling I'm going to pass out if I don't sleep. So what happens if I don't sleep? I refuse to go limp. I push myself to stay awake. I push myself to stay conscious. He squeezes tighter. Everything feels swollen and cold. Ugh. Strangled. So did I die? Because if I did, then joke's on him. Okay, what if I go to sleep? What if I go to sleep? I let myself go limp. I can't get out of this. If I don't get him to let go some way, he'll end up killing me. I close my eyes and let my body relax. Everything loosens and feels sleepy. It only takes a second for him to let go. I lay there, too weak to move. I feel him grab at my limbs, pulling them together and wrapping something around them. It's tight. I can't move to try to stop him. I feel so weak, so tired. I'm going to pass out. <laughs> To sleep. Oh well. Who <laughs> is with this guy? Who is he? Um, what happens if I open the door? <laughs> I fear what he'll do to me if he gets in, even after I don't comply. I just want to minimize the harm done to me in the future. Okay, but please don't hurt me. I don't hear a response. Promise you won't hurt me and I'll open it. <sighs> I hear an aggravated sigh before he answers. Okay, I promise. I don't know how the promise of a masked man who just bursted into your house will hold up. Hesitantly, I open the door. I open it all the way. He stands in front of the door, but doesn't lunge at me or grab for me. I look at him fearfully, waiting for him to, though. Let's go. Go? You're coming with me. He reaches for my hand and takes it gently. I don't want to. I made a promise to you. Don't make me break it. I heed his warning and follow him. He holds my hand as he leads me out of my home. I don't know what else to do. Is this because I just obeyed? <laughs> Promised. Is this because I obeyed and opened the door? That I'm just, oh well, I guess you got me. I really love that there's an aftercare button, just to be calm, be calm, be chill. This is a lot to handle. So this is very nice. This is very lovely. Okay, for right now, I think I'm gonna take a little break. Just, just take a little break. I will continue this game later, but let me know what you think in the comments. And most likely this game will be only on my Patreon, so let, let me know what you think. So for now, thank you for hanging out with me. Take care of yourself. Have a great night. And remember, there is always hope.